Hey mocha friends, welcome back to your girl's channel. So for today's video guys, I'm coming at you with another natural hairstyle. And if you're familiar with your girl's channel, you know sometimes I do, you know, I can't stay with the natural hairstyle too long. I do like braids or passion twists or some type of protective style. And it's nothing wrong with protective styles, but you know, your girl just need to break a break so back to back i have been doing a lot of natural hairstyles like perm rods braid outs so for today's video guys i will be doing a flat twist out on my hair and i'm so excited because i haven't done a flat twist twist out before and my hair loves twist out so i'm like might as well do a flat twist right <laughs> so the products that we'll, we'll be using with this twist out is from camille rose and i've seen so many great results with natural hair girls and i'm like let me jump on this product i know you're probably like girl you've been switching them lately but i've seen so many great results with this camille rose honey and my hair loves honey any products that has honey in it it just like it just thrives and the curls just popping <laughs> so i'm like let me try this product out um i, I just went ahead and got the whole line <laughs> not the whole line but when it said honey i was like oh let me get it <laughs> so these are the products that we'll be using with this flat twist out today and make sure you stay tuned guys and before you continue watching this video what you're supposed to do hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're not missing out any of my videos Let's get started. Y'all know when my hair is in its four sections, your girl is ready to get started. As you see in this clip here, your girl hair is already washed, fresh from that deep condition. So I'm ready to get started. And I'm gonna go in with the Camille Rose Leave-In Conditioner Honey Line. And I've seen these products on this girl's channel named OK Kayla. And she inspired me to do this flat twist. I haven't done flat twists before, but when I see her bomb flat twist, I was like, yes, girl, I'm about to see what's popping with this flat twist on my hair. And she, like I said, she went in with these products from the Camille Rose Honey Line. And I'm like, yes, your girl got to try this out. So y'all about to see me attempt this with these products. So make sure you stay tuned. Keep watching. I'm not sure if any of you natural girls can relate, but sometimes my hair tends to dry up when I put it in the four sections. So I do like to go in with my spray bottle just to make sure this section of my hair has a little bit of dampness going on. And then I'll go in with my dimming brush to kind of comb out any tangles. And don't mind my daughter in the back. She just <laughs> loves to be in my videos, clearly. Y'all, so as I mentioned earlier, this is my first time trying out this leave-in conditioner. It smells really good. And as you can see, the texture of it, it looks like honey, which is so weird. But my hair loves honey. And anything with honey in it, it just thrives and my curls are super defined. So as you can see, as I'm applying this leave-in conditioner in my hair, my hair looks super defined. As you can see in my face, I'm like, okay. And my curls feel super soft with just this leave-in conditioner. So I don't know, Camille Rose, you might be my go-to over my holy grail as I am. I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> Now that I applied all that leave-in condition in my hair, I'm going to go in with the honeycomb curl whip. And as y'all can see, I am struggling trying to open this. Like, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Okay, I'm back, y'all. I think I seen I was struggling, but I did want to pump this product out so you can see exactly how the texture of the product is. And it feels kind of thick compared to products that I'm used to. Since I do have low porosity hair, I tend to go with products that is a little bit more lightweight. But as I'm applying this product on my hair, it's a good balance with that leave-in conditioner. My hair still feels super soft. And these two products together, it's really defining my curls. And I love products that define my curls and I, i'm gonna keep saying it again i love products that has honey and it definitely defines my curls and that's exactly what this product is doing so i don't know might be trying this out again let's see y'all <laughs> And the final product that I'll be using is the Spike Honey Mousse from the same line, of course. And as you can see in the back, my hair is already prepped for these flat twists. And I'm just go ahead and apply the mousse to that section that I'm going to get started with. So wish me luck. <laughs> pretty sure everyone has done a flat twist on their hair by now so i'm not doing a tutorial i'm just mostly showing you exactly what i'm doing so i do like to grab a little piece at the top first as if i'm braiding it and then slowly come down 
but as you can see i cannot grip that well especially with these nails so i'm just doing the best that i can and just mostly trying to grip my hair as i go and then come down to a twist so i know it's not as tight as i would want it to be but it is what it is for now <laughs> Okay guys, so as you can see, your girl is finally done with the flat twist. I'm about to show you, but don't judge. You know your girl can't grip. So I did the best that I could do, especially with these nails. So now I'm gonna go in with this Camille Rose Serum. So it's basically for hair breakage and thinning. I don't feel like I have any breakage, but a little thinning out I have been seeing lately. So I thought this was pretty good for what's going on with me right now. So yeah, I'm just gonna put this wow <laughs> i didn't even open it <laughs> what it has a seal on there i'm so retarded okay let's do that again <laughs> okay so just here on my scalp give me a little extra extra on the scalp you all that extra boost that your girl needs. Put it all throughout the scalp. Okay. Okay, so now that that is complete, guys, I am going to let this sit overnight. I have somewhere to go tomorrow so i'm going to basically sit under the dryer probably because i know it's probably not going to be dry i have to get up early in the morning so i'm pretty sure it's not going to be dry so i'll see you guys tomorrow Pretty beautiful people so it is the next day i'm kind of skeptical about taking these out because it still feels kind of sticky and I applied a little bit more product because I kept taking these out in the front because I wanted it to look perfect. It was a looking a little puffy and I kept flat twisting it, re-flat twisting it. So I'm like, it's kind of, you see, it's still sticky on my hands. So we'll see. I need this to look good. I need this to look good. <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's hope for the best. Okay, um, we're going to start with let's see these are three so we're gonna start with that one get a little i don't need no more oil that's for sure it's pretty sticky okay it's still wet oh my god Curl is nice though.
Okay, y'all, so my face is like this because I feel like my hair is not completely dry since the products did kind of weigh down my hair a little bit. I feel like I should have let this stay in my hair for two days, but because I had somewhere to go, I had to take them out. But I do see the curl pattern here. I do like how my hair looks with this twist out, but I think next time I will let this stay in my hair for like two days because... Like I mentioned again, I have a little prosody hair and it takes my hair a long time to dry. So definitely we'll do a two day mark instead. Okay, as you can see, I'm wrapping up, taking out all of these twists, and I'm just noticing, I see the curl pattern, but I am not loving the shrinkage. I feel like my hair is a little way down because of the product, so I'm going to have to go in the bathroom and spice this up a little bit and be back with y'all because it's not giving right now. I'm going to come back when it's giving. <laughs> so this is the final result of my hair, and I do like how my hair came out. I did have to play around with it off camera. I had to kind of pick it out with my pig, and then I had to go in with a blow dryer just to give it a stretch and get rid of that shrinkage. So this is what you have so far, and the con that I will say is that um it still feels like there's product on my hair so since i do have a low porosity hair um a lot of products tend to weigh down my hair and then too much products and it just takes a long time to dry so i do still feel that product there and i think if i was just to just use that leave-in conditioner and then mousse or probably just the curling cream and then the mousse or just leave-in conditioner and leave just not all three basically and i think um I would have got better results. Um, it still looks nice, but I just feel like it's, I still feel the product in my hair and it just feels like it's just too much product. So next time I'll just probably just use two instead of three. So this is, like I said, this is what is given right now. It still looks nice. You know, I still can step out on the town. <laughs> so yeah. So I will definitely try this again. So leave me a comment below what you think. Don't forget to like, share this video, and subscribe to your girl's channel.